All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is 6.35 a.m. It is Monday, December 5th. And, yes, it's been a while since I updated you guys, so here I am waiting to unload. I'm in Michigan. I'm in Farmington Hills, Michigan. Said online this place was supposed to open at 6 a.m., but only one vehicle's pulled in. There's a big truck over here waiting to get unloaded, and then myself... I parked here last night. I actually got here yesterday afternoon around 2 o'clock. Uh, went to Walmart, got some goods, and uh, topped off the diesel tank, and then hung out here since about 3 o'clock yesterday. Just kind of chilled out, which was nice. Uh, obviously, I would have rather been running, but it was still nice. Uh, talked about it before to get forced to kind of take some chill time. So it was kind of cool to just sit back and relax. Uh, I don't know how everybody else is doing. Hopefully everybody else is running pretty decent. Uh, that's how it's been for me. I've been going pretty good. And then on top of it, in between loads, I'm, you know, I'm looking in the load boards. I'm looking for my driver's loads. I'm looking for me loads. Uh, and then just dealing with stuff in general. So it, it's I've stayed really busy for the past couple of months just with all of that combined. Just a couple of things I wanted to touch on. I kind of wanted to give a quick recap over the last bit of time out what that I was out since my last update. Because uh, I ended up staying out until Thanksgiving. Uh, came home a couple of days before Thanksgiving and stayed home for about a week. And then I went back out last Monday. So I'm going to give you an update up until Thanksgiving. These are going to include the ones that I did update last too. I, it's just it was over a 18 day span that I went out prior to Thanksgiving. And I want to touch on real quick. You know, I had that guy with me for a while, Otep, and you know, duck plucker straps. Uh, he didn't work out. Uh, philosophical differences. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, basically. Uh, he has some personal issues, and, and unfortunately, he he uh, gave in to his demons, and I can't have that, so had to go my separate ways from that. So, uh, with that being said, uh, just the only reason I'm even mentioning is because people have reached out and asked, you know, what's going on with him, where is he at, what's going on. So, uh, and also, the plan was, going up to Thanksgiving, is that after Thanksgiving, he was going to take over this van and drive. Uh, so that didn't happen. So now I'm out here now, which brings me, I guess, to the next point is that I am looking to fill this van after the first of the year. Uh, I prefer to have somebody that's close to Akron, Ohio. I'd like to have them, uh, as close as possible. Uh, the pay is going to be 60% of a dollar at, at least. Uh, now just to let you know, so there ain't no, uh, discrepancies there is possibilities of the rate being a little less depending on where we are trying to get out of somewhere it's possible the rate could be a little more it just it's just a matter of what's going on but the but the base rate right now is 60 percent of a dollar and I need the driver to be in a good enough situation that they pay for gas I pay for tolls van repairs and everything else so uh, if anybody's interested and you're within you're you're pretty close to Ohio uh, reach out to me in my email. It's in the description below. As I said, I'm looking to put somebody in this van after the first of the year. All right, let's get into this little breakdown real quick, guys. Uh, and precursor to these numbers, I am not giving these numbers to brag. I'm not giving these numbers to shit on the industry. I'm just giving you the numbers for what I've done. And the biggest thing to understand about these numbers prior to me giving them is... I am bidding my stuff myself. I am running under my own authority with our business. I take there's a three percent factoring charge that comes out of that. Other than that, I get all of that rate. So whereas some of you that may be with the carrier or whatnot, you're not going to get that kind of rate. Your rates are going to be lower because you're with the carrier and that company has to take their percentage out. I don't have a dispatcher. I am my dispatcher. So understand that these rates are what I get. So I've got my notes sitting right there, so I'm going to be not making on contact. I'm going to be going back and forth, back and forth, bam, 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 bam. So, 
I was out for 18 days. In 18 days, I had 13 loads. I grossed $9,950. I had 7,656 loaded miles, and that equaled out to a rate per mile on loaded miles of $1.30. It was actually $129.99 something, whatever, so $1.30. Uh, if you want to round it down, round it down, $1.29. So, at 1,034 miles deadhead. So with the combined deadhead and loaded, it was 8,690 miles. They came out to $1.14 on all miles. Uh, that deadhead was 13% of my loaded miles. Uh, ideally, you'd like to be as low as possible. Uh, rule of thumb, I've touched on before, for your deadhead, you'd like it to be 20% or less. So that's where we are with the deadhead and the loaded. So it was pretty good. I, I mean, I felt pretty good about that. Uh, it was nice. It was a nice run. I was staying pretty busy, pretty consistent. Uh, obviously had a couple of Tanus in there, which is truck orders not used. So uh, that helped boost the money a little bit for the miles. Uh, but yeah, overall, and again, I was out there just trying to grind. I wasn't being selective. I wasn't I wasn't trying to just get great paying loads. I was just trying to move. I was trying to make money in bulk. So, uh, and not not to say the rates could have been hugely better, but the rates, you know, depending on how you're wanting to run, you know, as far as you're wanting to run shorties only, uh, you don't need a ton of money. I was looking for as much money as I could make. And in order to do that, the best way is to just go out there and run balls to the wall and and obviously you still got to make certain choices you don't you know you ain't trying to run balls at a wall for 65 cents on everything you got to make the right choices like if you know if i am going to take a laredo i want to take i want to take a pretty good rate going into laredo to equal out the shit rate that i'm going to get coming out uh other than that just understanding the positions you're in trying to get multiple loads in one day in certain areas so uh you know like with the weekends coming up when the weekend's coming up just for a little strategy point is that when the weekend's coming up, unless you're landing in the Chicago area, it's pretty difficult to get weekend loads. Texas seems to pop them pretty regularly. Uh-oh, got somebody showing up. All right, guys, got interrupted there. I just got unloaded real quick on the first stop. point I was making before I uh, had got interrupted was uh, basically as far as strategy, like when it's going into the weekend, Weekend loads are hard to find unless you're in particular areas. So, you know, you always try to find something long. Uh, and I'm always trying to get something that unloads before Monday. So, that's the way I look at them. And that's the way I strategize. So, uh, but with that, that pretty much uh, wraps up everything I wanted to talk about in this one. Uh, I will, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.